I've just gone away and ordered uh, EcoBoard the uh, 84 watt hour portable power station. I think the original maker was Wahoo, Wahi. Yeah. Um, the US they can get it for fifty six dollars, but uh, I got it from Amazon.com, and with shipping and customs duty, it came in around ninety euro. It, it arrived in an Amazon box, so I opened that and then there was this other cardboard box inside. So I expected when I opened this to find the manufacturer's box with the glossy pictures and specs. But instead it was just, uh, everything was just uh, inside here. Okay, it had the plastic wrappings and a bit of bubble wrap. So this is the one here, there's a manual with it. Um, this is the 84 watt. Um, yeah, it's got a. Um, you can put three lights. You can switch this on, and that's the power on and off button. This little button here will operate a, a light, a lamp. Two settings. It has a USB. It says a uh, 5 by 2 amp outlet. These lights are 3.2 volts by 1 amp. Um, and it has, oh, what do they call it again? XC60, so something or X60 connectors for charging. So you can charge from the mains and you can charge via solar panel, which is included. Um, nice little light, a light unit, very light. It has, uh, I think, 26,000 milliamp batteries, um, which are the uh, uh, the leaf, uh, LIFO, the lithium phosphate, yeah, which are a lot safer than the, the ordinary lithium batteries. So that's it, and it's got a tag on it. But that tag looks, uh, to my eyes, that tag looks as if it's, uh, is, it, is it broken? I don't know. Here invalid. It looks like it's been opened before. I could be wrong, but it does. So there's a bit of a red flag flying there now. Is this? Uh, is that why it's in a brown box? Is it a returned item? We continue anyway. So um, you get these little uh, you get these little hooks to hang it up, hang up the lights, and you get. Uh, these, uh, these lights, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of videos on YouTube that go through it in detail. And uh, there's a switch for on off. You get three of them, which three of them, which connect in there. Turn on the switch and turn on this switch. Yeah, and there's a, a nice, nice, good little glow from that. Three lights, extension cord. So you can charge via USB, an 18 watt solar panel, again with the same, the yellow connector anyway, with a good length of uh, cable for it. So and that then also connects in so you can charge it by solar or by the mains. I already just a while ago used this uh, USB connection put a bit of power into my um, Panasonic uh, video recorder there because she was going low. So that's what you get. You have this unit which is very light. Solar panel with cable and uh, three lights and main charger. So it it looks good. Okay, she's uh, she's charged up now, one hundred percent. And uh, yeah, we put in uh, well over thirty three watt hours in about six and a half hours. So yeah, it's uh, it's got at least uh, thirty three uh, watt hours in it out of eighty four. But we're still with the two lights. Uh, now I've been running this uh, light now for three hours at full beam, and I uh, yeah, see it there. It's still on the uh, the that green. I suppose that's fifty percent. 
and uh, the light has still got full intensity i'm not going to hang around for hours to see how long it lasts but what i did notice now was when i came off the power bank and went for the light uh those two now are just clear the they might look green there but they're actually clear the the uh, 75 and 100 uh, percent light so they they do reflect yeah so all i can say from this is is that um um, there is a fairly good uh, battery in this since the seal was broken i said i'd open up and have a look and there are certainly four uh, lithium phosphate batteries with the little connector there connect onto the socket board in there there's not an awful lot to be uh, yeah, that looks fine. The one thing I wanted to open it for was to see if there was any fuse, and there's none. I would have liked to have seen a fuse somewhere. Oops. Yeah, so that just flicks on there. The end cover just, uh, yeah, so we can get a better look of it now. I would like to have seen a fuse from from here to here these cables which are very very short so I might stick a fuse in there because that's a lot of power if there's a short socket ever anywhere in that little panel or on whatever is connected to it the lights and the USB so I think I might see if I can fit a, a fuse I've just installed uh, an 8 amp fuse there now I'd feel happier with that so I'll reconnect now knowing there is some sort of short circuit protection well, here we are uh, I just have it uh, at a window it's uh, winter time weak sun um, just to check but she's charging away that's very good so I'll leave it there for a while. 